welcome back. Ep6. I have six I have gold. gold. I've got, okay, I've got a head so we can, like, do something. Okay, I really, I'm low on hunger and everything, so. Do you want to have an anvil? I'm out of, I have an anvil. Oh, Clay had an anvil. I have one, right here. Oh, crap. Okay, just start a match, so crap, start it. Okay, okay, uh, yeah, uh, anyone have food? Uh, oh, yeah, I have food, I have food. Yeah, I have 11 steak. Oh, Guys, did it, do any of you have the anvil? I did. Okay, I might be able to get power four. That's fantastic, okay? Yeah, that'd be uh, good. I have no arrows left. I've got 38. Uh, maybe like... I need 12 levels. Uh, I need 12 more levels. But I'll just get a Wait, we let I'll Prof get, get away, though. Food, food? Oh. Cool. Yeah, here, can I get some arrows? Yeah. Good oh, trade. How much more? Uh, oh, I only have 10 arrows now. Okay, now you're gonna have 17. I have 21. Cut. And I got I have a sharp three and also a fire spec. Sharp two. Wait, do we have any healing? I'm I'm on. I have two gaps, two and one. I'm on oh, wait, six wait, wait, hearts. Wait, wait, do, do you have any gold? Or... No, I crafted it all. I have oh, six I have gold. Head. I have six gold. I have a head. I have zero gold. Uh, can I have healing? Um. Uh, okay. How do you have Do you have no healing, Josh? I have zero oh. healing. There. <laughs> Merc, how much healing do you have now? I have one. Okay. 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 Cool. I think we're okay then. Okay. Let's go after Let's Prof. Wait, you wanna go to where Lux was? I can lead you guys back. He was like where the web cage was. Um, we can kinda uh, head to uh, Black team might actually win now. Yeah, oh yeah, they might. Right I kinda wanna kill Prop just for the kill. <laughs> yeah, do you want to? Here. I don't know where he, he went. He was he this. He was this way, I think. Let's go back to the web. Oh, oh the yep, there's a where, guy right where, there. Where are we at? Right Lux. there. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's Lux. Told you Lux was here. Okay, he walled. There's no point in firing. Yeah, he's up on the top there. Yeah, oh no! Oh, I don't know how he didn't hit yeah, me there. Don't fight him! Don't fight him! Don't. It's not, not worth it. Why? He kind of is worth it. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. Do they only have two people? We should kill him. Shot him! Oh, he's got thorns. He's got thorns. Dude, lots of thorns. What the hell, man? Wait, what is thorns? I, he does damage to me when I hit him. Like it's on his armor. Ah. Uh. Guys, let's win this for Clay. We need to win this for Clay. Just for Clay. Oh! Not for A. Max. That could've been bad. I don't know. I don't know where he went. He's not up here. <laughs> Probably ran to this wall. No. I don't know. Went yeah. down this way. I don't know where he went. Probably he's running to his team. Oh yeah, it's him and Asian. Okay, yeah. And they don't have healing. Cause Wait, who'd the other blue guy die to? No, they had three. I don't have any food. Uh, oh yeah, Wizard didn't die, he's not on the server. I need food. Oh, here you go. Smirk. Oh, they're right there. Ah, uh, full diamond. Both of them are full diamond. What the fuck? I knew we should have killed them. Oh my god. That's JJL right there, he's Pearl. Where, where, where? Okay, let's go after him. What, me? I have healing, but I don't want to eat it yet. Okay. It's a head. Down that way, he ran away. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Chase him, actually, yeah. He's at 84. I don't know. If they have healing, they're not healing. Oh, shot him. Frick. Oh, oh that's a... hit me. I know, yeah, I saw that. There's a guy right here, there's a guy right here! Right here! What? Professor what? TNT! Dude, he's on like 18. Here. Oh, fuck. Um, I'm so low. I did, I did. I freaking. Okay, you, you killed Prof, right, Mercury? I jumped down to kill him, but I didn't. Frick! I fell into a cave. Where are you? I'm at. I'm at his web cage. I put on his diamond. I'm almost full okay. diamond, so. I need a helmet. Oh, I, I see a web cage. I don't think was here before. I have ten. I have ten gold. I see them. I see them. Oh, I, I 
I see a SWAT team. Oh, that's quick, GG. Okay, oh, guys, guys, I I have 10 gold and I have Prof's head. I'm gonna make it. Okay, gotcha, 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 Okay, I did, I did, I ate it. All right, or not see. ate it, but... Okay, where are you guys? Uh, I right uh, see full diamond guy over there. Probably JJL, cause it's yeah, it's black team. team. They're right over there. Frick, JJL! He, he hit me, he hit me. That did a lot of damage. Okay, I'm, I'm coming again. I'm coming to the webcage. Screen shot at from Twinkie. I see JJL. I see JJL. Okay, I'm back near okay. Pro... I'm back at Jeez. Prof's webcage. We are. Where are you? We're like on the other side of the, the river from the. Uh, were you where Black Team was oh, first? Right here, they're behind you, Max. Really? Yeah. Like right behind me? Like I just shot them. Shot them. How the? How the fuck they get behind me like that? Oh my god. Fuck you, Spider. Shot one in the 66. Oh, Mercury, you scared the shit out of me. Here, they're, they're rushing. Yeah. Shot, 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 so one of them shot Twinkies at four. Ow! Shot Fuck! 79. 82. Shot one. Healing again. God damn it. I'm, like, I'm on the tree. Ow, Fuck. Max. Guys, just run, run back, run back. I'm getting up on the tree. No, no, no let's get That's up on the tree. Uh, I've got eight. Coming out. Making arrows. Okay, I've got 16 arrows. Okay, we have no more healing, eh? Nope. Zero. Zero. I have one snake. Heads up, they're coming out. Where's Windsor? I don't know. Ow! I shot him, but Max. I I shot him, but they shot me. I'm gonna wall up a bit. Rick, I'm shaking. Shot yeah. Me too. Shot Twinkie. It's a good fight, though. It is, yeah. it is. It was a good fight with you. The oh, they're right here, bro. Yeah, I know. I'll leave me. I'm running back. Yeah, run back a little yep, bit. Yep, let's run back. Frick, they're so geared. Yeah, it's because they didn't fight like Shot him. He's at five. Jason's at five. Is he healing? Shot him. That's four point. No, they they're out of healing. They're out of he Cause Jason's not okay, healing. I'm out of food. <laughs> Again. I have no more arrows. I've got five arrows. Here, I have some food. Just you want some? Jason's healing. Yeah. Do that. Jesus. Jason is healing. What the fuck? Yeah, Yeah, but still. Oh, you guys are on way better health than I am. What the fuck? Yeah, we haven't been taking many shots. How much gold do you guys have? Zero. I have zero. Oh, wait, I have no arrows. Okay, fuck. I've got four. Um, how much arrows? Oh, I have 40 arrows. I'll split it. Fuck! I'm dead. Give some to Max real quick. Oh, wait. Max is on 10%. I just fell off I a tree. I have split arrows right now. It's fine. It's fine. I cannot aim. Oh, that was close. I think our best shot. Oh, I got shot. We're gonna... Where's Wizard Spooky, honestly? Are they the only ones left? They need to backstab these. Just so that we can do something. I think they're right behind me. I don't know, though. We're like 400 blocks out. That's probably why. Okay, split the, split the arrows. Split the arrows. I don't... Um, yeah. but they're right there. They're right there. They're right there. Oh, fuck. Shot JGL. Are they healing? Well, it doesn't really matter. Okay, Mercury, you can split arrows if you're where I am. I'm hiding kind of in the forest now. Oh shit! That's them! Fuck, I thought that was you guys! Jesus. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm on 10%. Why don't they just kill me already? Put me out of my misery. Here, can we mine down? Oh no, it's meetup. I'm on half heart. Hey Max, do you want them to kill you? No, that's fine. I'm gonna. Max, you want me to steal the kills? Wait, where am I? 
I don't even know. Where are you guys? I am too, but I don't know where you are. Where are you guys? If I had arrows. Where the flat area is? We're in flat. God damn it, Jason's right there. I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna grind some gravel here. You're gonna grind some gravel. Jeez. Yep. Never seen uh, that. Actually, I actually haven't done that yet. Oh yeah, that perma. Oh yeah, it should be perma. My my bad, my bad. You're gonna get They're right there. I started grinding gravel and they were right there. Okay, I have one arrow. Let's make it count. Oh, fuck, I missed. I got one arrow. They don't have any arrows either because they're like right behind me and they're not firing at me. Shit. I don't see them. Help. I ran away. Like, Help. I went really far. I'm just looking for now. Food. Help. I'm in a planes. Yeah. I don't know who the is. Okay, I died. Oh, GG. GG. Oh, you didn't die. Did you die to anyone? Yeah, well, Jason. yeah, they hit me off. Actually, no. No, I fell yeah. off, but he hit me last. Well, good game, guys. Good Thanks for game. watching. Thanks for that was me. fun. For me. Alright, see you guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today. This was going to be a speech on Hillary Clinton and all of the bad things, and we all know what's going on, and especially how poor she'd do as president in these very, very troubled times of radical Islamic terrorism. Even her former Secret Service agent, who's seen her under pressure, and in times of stress, has stated that she lacks the temperament and integrity to be our president. There will be plenty of opportunity to discuss these important issues at a later time, and I will deliver that speech very, very soon. But today, there is only one thing to discuss, the growing threat of terrorism inside of our borders. The attack on the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, Florida, was the worst terrorist strike on our soil since September 11th and the worst mass shooting in our country's history. So many people, such, I mean, just hard to believe, but just so many people dead, so many people gravely injured, so much carnage, such a disgrace. The horror is beyond description. The families of these wonderful people are totally devastated, and they will be forever. Likewise, our whole nation, and indeed, the whole world is devastated. We express our deepest sympathies to the victims, the wounded, and their families. We mourn as one people for our nation's loss and pledge our support to any and all who need it. I would like to ask now that we all observe a moment of silence for the victims of this attack. Thank you. Our nation stands together in solidarity with the members of Orlando's LGBT community. They have been through something that nobody could ever experience. This is a very dark moment in America's history. A radical Islamic terrorist targeted the nightclub, not only because he wanted to kill Americans, but in order to execute gay and lesbian citizens because of their sexual orientation. It's a strike at the heart and soul of who we are as a nation. It's an assault on the ability of free people to live their lives, love who they want, and express their identity. It's an attack on the right of every single American to live in peace and safety 
in their own country. We need to respond to this attack on America as one united people, with force, purpose, and determination. But the current politically correct response cripples our ability to talk and to think and act clearly. We're not acting clearly. We're not talking clearly. We've got problems. If we don't get tough, and if we don't get smart and fast, we're not going to have our country anymore. There will be nothing, absolutely nothing left. The killer, whose name I will not use or ever say, was born in Afghan, of Afghan parents, who immigrated to the United States. His father published support for the Afghan Taliban, a regime which murders those who don't share its radical views. And they murdered plenty. The father even said he was running for president of Afghanistan. The bottom line is that the only reason the killer was in America in the first place was because we allowed his family to come here. That is a fact, and it's a fact we need to talk about. We have a dysfunctional immigration system which does not permit us to know who we let into our country, and it does not permit us to protect our citizens properly. We have an incompetent administration, and if I'm elected president, that will not change, I will tell you, that will not change over the next four years. We have an administration that will not change. But if I get in there, it's going to change, and it's going to change quickly. We're going from totally incompetent to just the opposite, believe me. Thank you. With 50 people dead, and perhaps more ultimately, and dozens more wounded, we cannot afford to talk around issues anymore. We have to address these issues head on. I called for a ban after San Bernardino and was met with great scorn and anger. But now, many years, and I have to say many years, but many are saying that I was right to do so. And although the pause is temporary, we must find out what is going on. We have to do it. It will be lifted, this ban, when and as a nation we're in a position to properly and perfectly screen these people coming into our country. They are pouring in, and we don't know what we're doing. The immigration laws of the United States give the president powers to suspend entry into the country of any class of persons. Now, any class, it really is determined and to be determined by the president for the interests of the United States. And it's as he or she deems appropriate. Hopefully, it's he in this case. Thank you. I will use this power to protect the American people. When I'm elected, I will suspend immigration from areas of the world where there is a proven history of terrorism against the United States, Europe, or our allies until we fully understand how to end these threats. After a full... Thank you. And by the way, we have no choice. After a full, impartial, and long, really long overdue security assessment, we will develop a responsible immigration policy that serves the interests and values of America. We cannot continue to allow thousands upon thousands of people to pour into our country, many of whom have the same thought process as this savage killer. Many of the principles of radical Islam are incompatible with Western values and institutions. Remember this, radical Islam is anti-woman, anti-gay, and anti-American. I refuse to allow America to become a place 
where gay people, Christian people, Jewish people are targets of persecution and intimidation by radical Islamic preachers of hate and violence. This is not just a national security issue. It's a quality of life issue. If we want to protect the quality of life for all Americans, women and children, gay and straight, Jews and Christians, and all people, then we need to tell the truth about radical Islam, and we need to do it now. We need to tell the truth also about how radical Islam is coming to our shores. And it's coming. With these people, folks, it's coming. We're importing radical Islamic terrorism into the West through a failed immigration system and through an intelligence community held back by our president. Even our own FBI director has admitted that we cannot effectively check the backgrounds of people we're letting into America. All of the September 11th hijackers were issued visas. Large numbers of Somali refugees in Minnesota have tried to join ISIS. The Boston bombers came here through political asylum. The male shooter in San Bernardino, again, whose name I will not mention, was the child of immigrants from Pakistan, and he brought his wife, the other terrorist, from Saudi Arabia through another one of our easily exploited visa programs.